Hey guys, this is James here from Pocket Gamer Connects 2017 in London. I am getting up close and extremely personal with Andreas and Julian from DCMN. Guys, what is the company? What is it that you guys do? You want to go ahead? Sure. So DCMN was actually born in 2010. Um, we are a media agency based in Berlin, Germany, uh, with a quite national setup. So we grow pretty fast. We started out with four people back in 2010. Now we are pretty much around about 100, spread globally. 101. So uh, we have offices in Berlin, in San Francisco, Paris, uh, in London, and in Bangalore and in India. So our focus is actually to go broader and cover more and more markets and be present in those markets as well. Um, the DNA where we come from is definitely TV advertisement campaigns. So we are focused on performance TV advertisement. Um, definitely all over Europe is our core markets. We cover North America, we cover India, we cover a couple of the Latin American countries. And what we do, we use TV to first of all, people know it originally as a branding tool. We use it more like a performance tool. Of course, you have that branding effect. A lot of guys need that, especially a lot of games that come new onto the market, smaller brands. And so we use TV to first of all push that effect, but in the end to generate installs. That's the major effect that we're looking for in TV campaigns. One of the things I've spoken to people about when they're talking about TV advertising, it can be quite difficult to track to determine exactly what results you're getting off of the back of it. How do you guys, especially now that a lot of systems are offering their own kind of client base, you can go into the back end, you control everything yourself, there's a lot of focus on that now. Yeah. How does your system work and how do you track the progress and the effectiveness of what you do? So we have our own in-house tracking tool that we use to uh, track the campaigns. And what we actually do, we go completely on the organic traffic. That's where we can measure. That's what it's most honest and most transparent to the client. <clears throat> so in the end, we look at the campaigns before we do TV advertisement, see what kind of um, baseline we have, how many installs the client is actually generating before we start TV, and then afterwards we measure the organic uplift on a spot-to-spot -spot basis and also on the whole campaign basis. And that way we can pretty accurately say the amount of installs you generated on top and break it down to pretty much any KPI you guys, or the gaming uh, clients are looking for. Okay. Do you think, because a lot of advertising now is about tailoring the advertising, not just to the game, but to the audience that game is looking for. Is TV advertising for everyone or have you found that using other things like, you know, in video ads or just straight push ads in other games that are on, online, what's the best, how do you find the best result for the right client? So we actually do see that TV is right now something for everyone, um, especially with the results which we which we generate in the last couple of month years, um, because it becomes more and more difficult for all the games developer to acquire users for a decent um, CPI, and with TV they can achieve quite quite low results in terms of CPIs, and also what we see that the engagement in terms of the user quality, it's much higher compared to, to other marketing channels uh, which you use. It's, it's more or less similar or even better f compared to Facebook or to Google. Um, so we do see that users are paying or spending even quicker money in the game and they are staying more or longer active in the game. So that's why we believe that TV is a very, very interesting channel for everyone even though it is a little bit more expensive in the beginning because you have to, to commit to a certain amount because um, otherwise um, we, we see that the pressure of the, the campaign is missing and then the results are not as good as, um, as expected. Um, but um, the end, the end um, results are, are very, very good and compared to other marketing channels, uh, yeah, um, very, very um, low in terms of uh, CPIs. I see. Is there any concern, especially with the move away from terrestrial television and people are now spending so much time already online with Netflix or Amazon Prime or some streaming services, a lot of which don't actually contain advertising in and of themselves. Is that worry that people are moving away from appointment television, as it's referred to? Like, have you noticed that any effect or any effect on your advertising campaigns because of that? Or has it been a kind of, because it's relatively new for games, advertising on television, has it all kind of trended upwards? 
Um, to be honest, right up, up until now, we were kind of worried when the whole Amazon Prime and Netflix uh, wave started. But in terms of KPIs and outcome of TV campaigns and the context that we generate, we actually see no difference whatsoever to before the wave started. So actually, still a lot of people watch TV, consume TV, and actually engage in games on the side and use the second screen. So that trend is still there and it's still growing. So um, yeah, for us, luckily, we didn't see any effects of our saying otherwise. Yeah, that, that's right. We just had a look last week on the uh, numbers for Germany. They were just um, um, released um, in terms of how many uh, minutes uh, the German population spent on watching TV for 2016. And it's still, if I'm not mistaken, 449 minutes. So there was no change compared to 2015. So even though this number is constantly stable, and we see that trend is also for the other countries. So there's no change so far in terms of that people are watching less TV because they're spending more TV into Netflix, Amazon or whatever. Okay. And for a company like yourself, we're here at Pocket Gamer Connect. Why do you come to an event like this? What's the benefit for you? What are you looking to get out of being here? Is it for the talks? Are you looking to connect with specific individuals? Or what's the angle? Um, the Pocket Gamer is very interesting for us because it's definitely wants to get more into the UK market because we have a couple of UK clients, but we definitely want to grow in that sense. And London is definitely a good turf for that kind of environment. And we meet a lot of new people right here. It's not only British um, clients, it's also a lot of guys from India coming here and Asian clients. So it's very broad. You have a lot of good panels and talks, which is quite interesting for us. Of course, our panel to push our name out there, <laughs> to be honest. Which will be up on YouTube, incidentally, so you'll be able to see your talk online, by the way. Very nice, so Andreas <laughs> will hold there. So he will be visible quite a couple of times uh, on the webpage. Um, and yeah, the whole environment and meeting all couple of potential clients and also more liaise with our current clients. So, And we found that the Pocket Gamer Connects, as cozy as it is, actually has like a, a great scenery. It's like a good foundation. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of great clients. And yeah, it seems very good so far for us. And in terms of this year, we're just coming out of what has been, for a lot of people, quite a tumultuous year, let's say, for various reasons. What's your focus on in 2017? Have you guys got big plans for the upcoming year? Or what you got going on? So this year we will focus even more on um, on the gaming industry. So uh, DCMN um, originally started, um, like Julian explained in the beginning a little bit, uh, with traditional traditionally e-commerce uh, uh, companies, and uh, since now roughly two years, um, um, they are doing or we are doing uh, more and more TV campaigns also for gaming companies and. As we said, we, we see that the results are, are very good um, and um, also the development which we did um, last year, um, which was a great year for these men also in terms of games because uh, we did our yeah, first uh, major TV uh, uh, spot shoot um, together with Elex Tech and also together with Bastian Schweinsteiger, which is uh, uh, or was one of the famous uh, national uh, soccer player. Mm -hmm. um, and we see that the trend, especially for games, coming into TV is um, is increasing even more and more. And that's why for, for us this year, um, the whole gaming industry is uh, yeah very important. And uh, we want to try to be um, yeah at conferences as much as possible, uh, where we believe that it makes sense for us to be there, um, because we know we can meet. Um, existing clients, but we also can can get a lot of new potential new clients who are might interesting in doing TV with us. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I have to say best of luck with that and have a good 2017. And if anyone wants to find out how to get in touch with the clients, you'll find the links below the video. <laughs>